before we sit let me just i promise that we'll i will just recommend a few books is am i am i okay um there are so many books that are available for the growth of the believer but um i just thought to bring two or three number one apostles prophets and the coming moves of god apostles prophets and the coming moves of god by dr bill hammond one of the last of these veterans of the gospel standing our fathers are transiting with such speed in the last one year these men and women of god uh, they've joined the cloud of witnesses this is a call for greater tenacity even as we we get to the end of the age apostles prophets and the coming moves of god dr bill hammer number two fasting and prayer the atomic power with god this was the book that birthed the pentecostal charismatic movement reverend franklin hall it was a book that i was introduced to by pastor david Ubueli very powerful book i read it in one sitting fasting and prayer the atomic power with god reverend franklin hall next also on fasting the key to releasing god's power in your life this is by Derek prince i'm not really talking about fasting this night just i just thought that is needed and then this one i had to this is my copy sadly but by the grace of god um they saw it all this is by gordon lindsay many of you know about gordon lindsay christ for the nations now the way he started ministry is very interesting he spent a major part of his life supporting other ministries and other um mission works all across the globe so he had a very rich heritage of vast experience across several ministries before he started christ for the nations they saw it happen this is a dramatic story of those who were greatly used in the pentecostal outpouring of the 21st century the 20th century gordon lindsay i'm sure that there will be a way of getting these books making them available the bible says buy the truth when oil was finished he said go to them that sell there are people apportioned with the grace to sell buy the truth sell it not praise the name of the lord so let's do well to get these books um personally because i was greatly mentored by dr miles munro i would recommend any of his books on the kingdom he has provided one of the most balanced approach to kingdom living and understanding the kingdom from rediscovering the kingdom and um, so on and so forth so his concepts are very very powerful and then there are so many i i don't want to now just begin to mention names but at least it's important that we get some of these books and then revive the culture of study revive in the name of jesus and in the name of honesty the culture of study i think respectfully speaking maybe that may be my first charge before we sit down um i say this with every sense of passion and every sense of responsibility something is gradually happening to our our desire to study the bible or our faith work is not just a spiritual work alone our minds must be actively involved in kingdom come it's a study to show yourself approved unto god a workman that needs not to be ashamed he says rightly dividing the word hallelujah the assignment of the god of this world according to scripture is to blind their minds not just their eyes ephesians 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it has been alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them hallelujah it's very very important we must trust God for grace to be students of Scripture father be glorified tonight again in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated God bless you pastor Dele again thank you it's an honor it's an honor thank you thank you
so let's look at our, our course curriculum again we started yesterday by considering the assignment I pray and I hope that I was able to touch it um, enough to inspire our hunger to look at the mandate the ecclesia understanding what the old story and our corporate mandate is to reveal Jesus and to bring glory to glorify the same and then this morning we looked at doctrine please in the name of Jesus study on this doctrine doctrine um, will remain the hope of our remaining in the patterns of God like Pastor Dele shared we cannot begin to invent pathways arbitrarily even though Paul saw Jesus Jesus still referred him back to the church for his growth and his development so his encounter with Jesus did not stop him from going to learn